What's going on guys and welcome back. Today we got something a little different than the last two videos that I've done and if you haven't seen the others I'll go ahead and link them here. Um, but the last two videos I had done were on Bird Dogs Gym Shorts and then also the 10,000 Foundation Shorts, both of which you should definitely check out. Um, but today we're going to go through a, a quick little workout that I had done. Um, I'm just starting Matt Ogus's 853 program. It's been great so far, getting a lot of volume in as well as some strength training. Um, if you don't know who Matt Ogus is, I'll link a couple of videos to him uh, down in the description below. But otherwise, um, you know, it's going to be a quick little clip. We've got Cupcake who had graduated from PetSmart's uh, beginner class and so we have a little bit of a spiff on that on the tail end of the video but otherwise sit back and enjoy the video all right so today's workout i'm hitting ohp for four sets of seven at 115 it's taken me a little while to get back up to this weight. Uh, my previous PR was at 155. I've taken a little bit of time off of working out and now I'm trying to get things back up. So starting Matt Ogus's 753 program, it's been great so far. There's a lot of volume. I'm trying to balance it with some other accessory movements as I'm trying to build up um, you know, some additional lagging um, muscle groups, but so far it's been great. Um, as you can see here, starting off my sets, I'm not going to show my entire entire workout. I would imagine it would be a little, um, little boring to see everything that I'm doing. But you know, let me know if you guys think otherwise. And so, for here, the OHP movement has been one of my favorites. It's a great you know exercise that keeps my core tight. Uh, I'm having to really focus on contracting my shoulders and I think at the end of the OHP movement there's a sense of um, very strong contraction, contraction. I'm able to really keep things super tight and overall I see a lot of the strength um, adaptations uh, you know moving into other parts of my lifts especially with bench press and um, you know some of that core strength that I need for my deadlifts and so definitely recommend you guys check that out so here I've got uh, a few sets I believe this was 4 by 10 of the horizontal row I'm trying to work my upper and mid back this is actually really hitting my upper back area um, right now I think the total weight that I've got on is essentially two plates on both sides um, the volume is quite steep for me. I'm trying to ramp up a little bit more of a hypertrophy program. And so I think with this kind of being the first, um, actually second cycle, we'll kind of see how the weights uh, progress and then just with my ability to recover from the workouts. And so if you guys haven't tried the Ogus 753 program, check it out. I'm really just focusing on the main lifts. So. Ogus's program has uh, a concentration on your deadlifts, overhead press, bench press, and squats. And so for me, I think right now the best movements for myself are really um, the deadlift and squat, which right now I'm at a pretty even weight, uh, roughly about 270, trying to get back up to 315 and really hit, uh, you know, for squats, a very... Um, below parallel squat that's clean on a 315 uh, as a PR and then also for a deadlift really trying to focus on having a very strong um, tight form when I'm lifting I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty big stickler for trying to keep um, form during my movements sometimes that might hinder me uh, making some progress but for me I think it's just more so a mental OCD um, point but uh, here I've got the lateral Cordova. And so for, for some of you who have not tried this movement, it's a hit or miss for me. I'm trying to implement this into my workout program. So here, um, I believe I've got four sets of 10 and then three sets of 15 or 17 with a lighter weight. 
trying to play around with it, but again, it really is to, you know, this movement hits the upper, um, you know, lateral uh, side and really kind of helps to bring out the deltoid heads. Um, in terms of trying to really focus on the contraction, it's it takes a little bit of effort for me. You know, I, th I know some folks are able to easily focus on their muscle contractions, um, but you know, the the mind muscle connection for me sometimes is a hit or miss. I just I really have to focus on this one, and so for this, you know, sometimes I'll rotate it out with uh, face pulls or lateral raises. Um, and sometimes I'll try even do uh, some wide grip horizontal rows uh, just to kind of hit the lateral head as well as the rear delt. Um, and then I think this might be the last movement uh, that I had filmed, but really this is your you know st st standard tricep pull down. Um, this has been one of, I think, the best movements for building my triceps. And so, like I had mentioned earlier, I had taken some time off of lifting and trying to get back into it. And so, trying to put some of that size and volume back into uh, my arms. And uh, right now, I think this was a four by 10 at, I think, 70 pounds. Um, we can never tell with these with these machines just because every gym is so different. And actually, by the way, you know, I'm new to Texas. My girlfriend and I had just moved out here this past year. Uh, Anytime Fitness seems to be a pretty big um, gym in the local Dallas, uh, Plano, Richardson area. Uh, for me, we had just moved out here from Boston, and so we were uh, more used to working out at local mom and pop shops. Um, but yeah, you know it. You know, being new to the Texas area, would love to to see any other gyms that might be um, in the local area that you guys train at. And if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Um, always looking to find a, a spot to work out at. And um, I think one of the most exciting things is always going to a new gym and looking at the equipment that they've got. This particular location out in Richardson has done a really great job with, I think, a, the customer service and just the people that attend there. And so that's more or less the reason why I've continued to, to go there. And also, can't forget, they're pretty good with uh, allowing you to record video. All right, so just got home. I'm going to have some overnight oats that my girlfriend made me. It's got a cup of oatmeal, I got some blueberries, and some honey and some cinnamon. And then top it off with some eggs. We've got some housework to do, and we got some friends coming over later tonight, so we'll check back in later.
All right, guys, that does it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, subscribe and hit that thumbs up button to let us know that you've enjoyed the content. And in the meantime, we'll be right back with you for some more product reviews.